This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, David Muir. Good afternoon. I'm David Muir at ABC News headquarters here in New York. And we come on the air this afternoon because we're following developments out of Washington as we watch this government funding bill work its way through the Senate and the House. The president has now said he will, in fact, sign this government funding bill to keep the government open. We know that a second government shutdown had been looming as early as Friday if this did not happen. He says he will sign the funding bill, but the other breaking news we're following at this hour is what he will do in addition to signing that bill. The White House saying moments ago he will take executive action, including a national emergency. The president has threatened to do this to find other ways to fund uh, his demands for a border wall, of course, on the southern border. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell moments ago on the Senate floor saying the president did in fact intend to do this. The White House confirming this moments ago. Here's what Senator McConnell said a short time ago. I've just had an opportunity to speak with President Trump and he, I would say to all my colleagues, has indicated he's prepared to sign the bill. He will also be issuing a national emergency declaration at the same time. And I've indicated to him that I'm going to prepare, I'm going to support the national emergency declaration. So for all of my colleagues, uh, the president will sign the bill. We'll be voting on it shortly. And so there you hear Senator McConnell just moments ago saying he will support the national emergency declaration. I want to bring in our congressional correspondent, Mary Bruce, who follows all things up on the Hill. And Mary, you heard it from Senator McConnell there just a short time ago saying he will support the president on this. This is interesting because McConnell himself and other Republicans had counseled the White House, had counseled the president before against this. Uh, McConnell and others worry that this could, in fact, uh, create a, a slippery a slope of sorts for future presidents in declaring national emergencies. David, this is a big shift here for the Republican leader in the, in the Senate. For weeks, we have seen top Republicans warning the president not to declare a national emergency because they feared it would set a bad precedent about the broad use of executive power. Mitch McConnell at one point reportedly even had a face-to-face -face meeting with the president in the White House, cautioning him that if he did take this step, declaring a national emergency, that there would be a pretty serious political blowback. Because right now, what could happen is not only could this move be challenged in courts, but Democrats as well could also try and push back against this. They, they could pass a resolution of disapproval, which could then force Republicans into a very tricky position. And David, we did just moments ago hear from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. She says Democrats are now reviewing their options. They are reviewing their options. Speaker Pelosi adding that she believes the issues at the border are, quote, not an emergency. Mary Bruce, live on the Hill, our thanks to you. I want to bring in our chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, because John, we knew that the president was mulling over this option. As we just reported there, he'd been told by many Republican uh, senators, Republican leaders in Congress that this was not a good idea. It appears he will move forward with it, given what Sarah Sanders said moments ago. Uh, Sarah Sanders confirming what Mitch McConnell said, that the president will move forward. It was interesting the way it was framed, executive actions, including a declaration of a national emergency. Uh, this is something, David, that you can be certain will be challenged immediately in court. Uh, whether or not this is truly a national emergency and whether or not the president has the authority to move the money around, to spend money on something that Congress explicitly did not want to spend money on. Uh, as you know, a very fundamental fact of the Constitution, uh, it is the Congress that controls the purse strings, uh, and Congress has been urged by this president, uh, by, by Republicans, uh, to to put more money into the building of that border wall and has rejected that approach, uh, offering uh, only a, a limited amount of what the president wanted. And now the president's going to try to do it himself. That is ripe for a court challenge. And John, in the meantime, we cannot forget the 800,000 government workers who've been waiting as this second government shutdown was looming uh, to find out whether or not there would be, in fact, a second uh, shutdown, whether or not they would be out of work yet again. And John, that looks like that certainly will not be happening. These workers will stay on the job. David, funding would have run, it, run out at midnight tomorrow uh, without an agreement, without the president signing uh, a bill passing uh, the Congress. So, yes, it looks like that is averted. Now, keep in mind, uh, it's about to pass here in the Senate. That seems certain. Still needs to pass in the House. We certainly expect it will pass in the, in the House. And now you hear uh, that the president will sign it. We're not 
there yet, but it sure looks like that's what's going to happen. All right, John, we'll see you a short time from now right here on World News Tonight. In the meantime, one more question for Mary Bruce up on the Hill, because, Mary, uh, this is an effort by the president in declaring this national emergency to find funds, to find the money elsewhere. As you alluded to, Democrats have argued that perhaps they will fight this. There will be legal challenges. Uh, have they explored options, Republicans on the Hill, of where the president could, in fact, get this money? That is the big question here now, David. Even as we were walking the halls just after this announcement, we did talk to some Republican leaders who say that's what they want to know. Where will the president be pulling this money from if he is taking other executive actions? What pots of money is he going to be trying to move around? Because while many Republicans see why the president is making this move, that spending bill that is on the table that they're voting on right now falls far short of the amount of money for the wall that the president has been demanding all along. But they want to know what money, what projects. Is he now going to try to tap to make up the difference? Yes, many people have been asking, would that money come from uh, natural disaster relief, for example? What other areas would that money come from? And as we mentioned earlier in this special report, the concern that future presidents, both Republican and Democrat presidents, might use this as one of their own tools. And, and would a Democratic president use it, say, after a, a school shooting? Uh, those are the debates that will continue uh, long after this headline moments ago from the White House saying the president will sign this funding bill. The government will stay open once this finishes its move through the Senate and the House. But the president, in addition to signing the bill, will take other executive action, including a national emergency. Our thanks to John Carl at the White House, Mary Bruce up on the Hill, and we'll have a complete report just a short time from now on World News Tonight. I'll see you then. In the meantime, ABCnews.com all day long on this. Stay tuned. This has been a special report from ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.